to go through them. This is for YouTube, but I thought I might as well do it live than do it offline. Um, so I'll answer some other questions as we go along, try to keep them relevant. So if I'm not mistaken, there are nine maps for us to look at. I'm going to bring the volume down a bit. Actually, I'm going to keep the volume up in case there's uh, some sounds that I didn't pay attention to before. <clears throat> So, yeah, so nine maps we're going to look at. The first one is uh, Abbey. So we're looking at Abbey, Apollo, Asylum, Birth, Biome, Kaizen, Off-Time, Sirius, and Studio. Two of these maps are CS maps. So the criteria for these maps, uh, judging criteria... Uh, sorry, I'm moving my second mouse. The, the judging criteria was graphics, gameplay, and polish. Gameplay is difficult because we're just running around on our own, so it's really hard to see how the maps play out and judge like spawn times and things like that. So um, it was a maximum of of 40 points, and nobody really got more than 30 for gameplay, purely because, um, again, for the reasons I just mentioned, it, I can't really... There's, there's only so much you can do without... I wasn't around for any play tests because I was at the Major or I was just busy, Cancun, etc., Anyway, so this is Abby. This is uh, T Spawn. We're in. Crossos, thank you for the subscription. This is. Oh. This is really weird. Um, getting subscribers is weird to me. I don't know. Anyway, um, okay, so look, it's an Abby. I never actually paid too much attention to. I just ran past this when I had a look earlier, but it's got like some uh, tables and stuff. I like this so far. So B is to the left, A is to the right. Um, okay. So let's uh, start towards B, shall we? So I don't know, like, this is cool. I don't know at what point, like where the checkpoints are. Um, I mean, you can, you can guess, anyway. Okay. Um, the woman's calling. Okay, never mind. All right. So this area, I don't think offers much. It looks early, so let's just go back up here. All right. So towards B. So we've got some hidey holes here. Let's just have a look, shall we? Running into B, you've got this way. So you've got some corners here. I guess post plant, this is this area is going to be more relevant. Um, Flashback. Okay, so there are some skyboxes. That one isn't so relevant though. This is the B bomb site. I kind of like this. And this is the other entrance to be. So, where were we? So, library. What is this called? Oh, it hasn't got a call out there. Okay, anyway, library. So, you can go this way or you can go this way. So, this is T perspective, the site. So, you might want to clear here, here. Throwing flashbang. Okay, easily done. That's interesting. Uh, maybe I should get the bomb. <clears throat> okay, so we can see the line for the bomb. in the way so let me just write a message Uh, 
Okay. Right. Bloody hell. There we go. Easy enough. So, T spawn, sorry, CT spawn is up here. Hello. I mean, like, graphics wise, this is, uh, for those who just joined, this is Abby. Graphics wise, I think, I think this is really nice. So, graphics wise, this was almost my highest pick. I picked. The only thing I said. I enjoyed the graphics more of was off time. So this was joint with uh, Birth and Kaizen and Studio for me. I gave them all the same score pretty much. Um, so yeah, from so from a CT perspective, you get into B pretty quickly, so you can post up here. I imagine you could post up around here. Um, this is going to take longer to get to, so I wonder. Actually, let's have a check, shall we? Um, I think this would be the well safest way. So ten seconds library. Am I exposed if I run here? So it's fifteen seconds to this point. Um, Counter terrorists win. Let's get this done. Ten. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so I can get to about here in 15 seconds. And the T's, it was here, wasn't it? About here. So I suppose if you wanted to rush as a T, the CTs should get sound cues at this point. This is a pretty narrow choke point. So you could uh, draw people, you could throw a smoke down like this. You want it to be a bit shallow, uh, deeper. I have this cool bind, which speeds up time to get rid of smokes quicker. Um, smoke. Bloody hell. Anyway, you get the point. Smoke. Actually, it's worth testing this because I suppose you could smoke. just pop one in there. Would be a risk to do that. Anyway, so so long B. At least we know the spawn timing is good to control the choke point. But you're going to need somebody invested over here. So this is the B bomb site. Nice. I wonder. If it's going to be, if this will be a bit dark for a CT model, actually, why don't I just test? It's all right. So where are we? This is the mid area of Abbey. I'm I'm quite excited for Abby. I th I think it could be really interesting. So again, CT spawn. So where does this go? Nice tree. Okay, maybe an op spot. So what is this angle here? Okay, so the T's could come here. But why would they fight for this area? So you can ex you can expect CTs from here. Get, get the flashes out. Should be fine to smoke as well. So the CTs. I don't know about timing. I'll check timing, but this could be an interesting position for a rifler. Um, let's say you have an AWP. Holding some kind of angle like this, snaps on point, takes a shot, then you've got a rifler just pop out. Although with his angle, an AWPA here. Okay, 
yeah, has line of sight to here, but uh, the T's need to come from here anyway. Unless the T's come from this side. So this goes towards A. So the CTs can cross to be here, man like Albert. So if you get this position, then it will compromise where the CTs can defend B from because obviously this is a solid spot to stand. But if you've got no control there, then you've got issues controlling this and this. So that's cool. Um, so obviously some grenades are required to fight for mid once the t's get out uh, get out of this position they've got a lot of uh they've got some high low places to fight so this will be interesting so you can go be up there as a ct around these boxes here you can move up here as well and even ooh, this needs to be changed a bit so you don't get stuck so much but hard to do so the mid is interesting I wonder if you can boost no I'm being stopped by something so you won't be able to boost over that wall but I think you could boost here Sorry, guys. Bollocks. Anyway, I think you can boost there. So the mid looks interesting. Um, let's take another look at A, shall we? From a T's perspective. So there's a bit of cover. Clearly warbangable. <clears throat> I wonder if there's an angle to be had there. I like I really I like this a lot I have to say I think this is really interesting nice big area to uh, nice big areas to fight with here risky because clearly it can be wallbanged so I'm not sure you want to stand there but I mean yeah everything has its risks right so I think this is really cool I think this is uh, a great fighting area um, let's see what the chat's saying. Will this map be added to operation? I hope so. I hope most of them will. There, they, there are some really cool maps here. Okay, let me catch up with these people quickly. So again, this is DE Abbey. Doesn't Kaizen me gradual or constant improvement right? What does what what English is that? Um, so yeah, graphics I think is cool. Um, gameplay I, I I'm really interested in. I think that you could see some really engaging fights around uh, this map around mid around B. So I quite like I quite like it. Um, the other one is polish. What did I put for polish? I gave this the highest ranking for gameplay. I gave it 32 out of 40. And for polish, um, I put it at 13, which was about average, 13 of 20, because um, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't put many things high in the, in the total. But um, I mean, I like the attention to detail. Um, 
Ironically, there's a place, um, if you've ever heard of the man in the iron mask, uh, the prison where that guy was kept, because that is, a, well, part of it's true, is off of Cannes in France, the south of France. And I, I visited the island. There are two islands there. And one has um, monks living there. It's like a monastery or whatever. And they make wine, among other things. So this is all relevant. Um, so... Yeah, I think it's done really nicely. The the floor's nice. I don't, I, I don't feel like it's used um, things that we see a lot of in CSGO. Remember, like all this brickwork and stuff I think is uh, nice and it makes it different from what we see. I mean, this might be like Inferno-esque apps, but I mean, it's not a big deal. Generally speaking, it definitely has its own identity. I think the, uh, the Abbey has done well. This is quite nice. Um, Polish, I'd put FPS as well. So this is, you know, it could do with some some optimization. It looks like. Um, I think my FPS might be low. like if I face here, I get like two ninety basically. If I face here, I get like one seventy. Maybe it's reduced somewhat because I'm streaming, but still, ideally, I would want two hundred plus. Um, so there we go. So yeah, I think this is cool. All right, I'm going to go to the next one, which is CS Apollo. Oops, what am I doing? Map CS underscore. Okay, let me catch up with chat again. Someone commented, no point going to mid if the sites can be accessed from elsewhere. Lol for the terrorists. What? Have you played any map ever? What does that even mean? What does that even mean, dude? What are you saying right now? Okay, I don't know how to uh, extend the time on a CS map. But this one is space... I guess it's like a space museum themed. So we will look at it from the CT point of view. Now, this one is interesting because the the CTs are... I've turned the sound down. The CTs are very... Sorry, the hostages are very far away from each other. Okay, so let's look at graphics first. Obviously, it's done with the Apollo theme. I think the graphics are, are not the best. They're like lower quality. I won't say low quality, but I'll say lower quality, it feels like. Um... This is always fun. If you can jump over. So I love that little addition. It's not overused yet in maps that I play at least. So this is cool. So yeah, you can see it's like lower quality graphics, which will mean higher FPS or should mean higher FPS. So we've got a shop here. That is a very ugly t-shirt. Uh, little planes, shuttles. So this is cool. This is still around the staging area of the CT side. So yeah, you can see this map's going to restart repeatedly because uh, because I suck at, at, at settings on a CS map. This is cool. So this I would put as like polish things like this, which is which is cool. Um, so we've got this big open area, which I suppose you can fight around. I wonder if you can jump up there. Oh, you can, okay. So here's one of the hostages, but you can see on the radar, the other one is pretty far away. So if you look at the radar, that's really gonna split the T's up. And what's interesting is, I think that will change, it won't be so dominant for the T, for the T side because they're going to be quite stretched out across the map. And uh, that might make them more aggressive. So normally we see on a hostage map, we see people camping um, the hostages. But I don't really know if you can do that. So actually, let's go to the T perspective here. Because I don't know if you can do that on this map because you're spread so thin if you do that if you lose one hostage, I feel like you have uh, some difficult decisions to make. So let's see. Actually, let me try my, my config. I don't know if it'll work. No, it's still... One minute, I'll 
figure out another time. So the first sausage is over here. He is all the way down there. Um, so let's see what the implications are. I think there's a downstairs on this one. Not Yeah, there is. I can see it in blue. Okay, so what do I need to defend as a T? Got these big areas to fight in. I've got some some high low here. Um, okay, so this is one entrance. Whose spawn is this? That's my spawn. Okay, so this is one entrance here. I will have control of this because it's next to my spawn. So this is like here is a main choke point. Or even okay so this is cool so there's two entrances this is like the a fight here this is a choke point okay so I've got one choke point here one choke point here obviously there's acts there's space for the T's the CTs to to get into this area so you know, there's plenty of space for flashbangs and so on there's even a gap here. So you could boost on here. You could boost on here. Um, so you might want to, I mean, you might want to hold a line like, I don't know. See, so well, I think I'm not exposed here from this angle, but you might want to hold a line here, but obviously you're easily smoked off. If I'm smoked off here, then this is uh, quite a significant run to this position, right? So. You're going to need two, two people at least fighting in this area. Okay, so let's see the. Um, let's see the other side. MP runtime hostage. Okay, thank you guys. MP underscore runtime underscore hostage. Uh, so. I need to add that to my config. Hey, there we go. Marvelous. Add that to my training config. Okay. So where were we? So this is the main fighting area for the left side hostage. So this might need two people to fight in. Um, so over to the right side hostage. Again, this is our spawn. So we're going this way to this hostage. You have, let's see, hostages. Where is he? There he is. Where are your shoes, bro? Where are your sh damn shoes? All right. Because we're your bows. Okay, so this is a downstairs area here. And on this side, you have an entry here. So, so this is... So here are two places. This place is um, from CT Spawn. I don't think you really want to go crazy as a T. Maybe we should check the... I think the, the T's could get to like this area. I'm not going to check the spawn timings, but I'm not sure if this is a fight here or if this is just a big open space. But I would imagine that with a hostage there, I would imagine the T's are going to have control of this at least. So maybe this is a fighting area, maybe this is a fighting area. So this is upper. Then you've got a downstairs area on this side. So where does this go? It's quite loud. Something to note. Oh, it has two entrances. Okay. So this is the mid area, which we haven't covered yet. And Okay, so from spawn, CT spawn over here. So you can run there towards the left hand side, uh, there towards the right hand side, or you've got this mid area. So, ooh, okay, so that's up there. So there's maybe a fight to be had. It depends on the spawn timing. I think we should check this to be honest. Let's check it. Right. So 
So it's like eight seconds to here. I'm in twilight zone. Let's go. All right. Fifteen seconds to here. Like eighteen seconds to this point. Wait, is it going to restart? What's going on? Let's make the Bureau proud. Okay, whatever. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Am I, am I losing my mind? Oh, okay. I saw this. And I thought it was this, and I just my brain just exploded. So it seems the CTs get to like here, if I'm not mistaken, because I counted like 18 seconds to to, that, to there, and it was like 15 seconds for the CTs. So the T's might have to fight like this, or like this. Um, so I think this, the T's are stretched pretty pretty thin, to be honest, on this map. Um, so. For gameplay, I, I I put one of the low, one of the lower scores. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's like it's hard to gauge if that makes it playable or not. You know, maybe it's um, these guys are annoying me. Maybe it's um, maybe it's okay if it's CT sided. Um, but like what what gambles what gambles do you take? Okay, let's go look at the mid area I don't even know where I'm going right now Okay Okay this way So what area what's what's the area I'm thinking of? There is no mid area No, it's not here. Oh, maybe I saw this from a different angle and I thought this was... Okay, so you've got like the left channel, the right channel, and the underpass channel. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. I just got confused with this area, so ignore me. Um, well, not bad, but like difficult, let's say. So, yeah, I think this... Um, there's a lot more chance for a CT side to, to do something on this map, which is a good thing. I like the theme as well. Okay, so we're going to look at uh, Asylum now. MP underscore ignore round conditions, round win condition zero, that's cool. Graphics for Apollo aren't done yet, Sp still pretty much work in, pro work in progress, that's cool. I can only judge it on on what it is right now, but that's fine. Love you, James. Cheers from France. I might be going to France next week, actually. If you take the other way from T-spawn to underground, you are there pretty fast. Okay. Don't take what I'm saying as uh, as fact, then. Okay, so DE Asylum. This, this has... These graphics feel old to me like old mirage and you can see like my my fps is basically 300 this feels almost like old mirage to me so i think these are like older older graphics like if um i mean they look fine maybe it's just the color of the red brick just reminds me of older things i don't know okay so apollo this was difficult it was a bit frustrating because as you can see the map doesn't work properly the, the map only only works when I'm in a lower area for some reason. So if I start to go down, then I see the map. So this was like uh, a bit of a pain in the ass to to do without seeing the minimap all the time. So I'll have a quick run through here. Reminds me of some old maps. I le I'll leave you to guess. It seems inspired by... I like this. This is nice. Um... 
So this is the bee bomb site. Where can we plant the bomb? Okay, we've got lines here. Okay, so this is the this is the bomb plant. We've got places to I guess that's CT. I'm sure you could boost up there. Might be a bit high actually. So you go up and it disappears, which is annoying. So this is CT spawn. So where is that high ground then? Where's that balcony? How do we get up there? Okay, here's the balcony. Am I going to commentate any FGC events? Um, I never really commentated FGC so much. It was only because I was producing the stream. So, you know, sometimes you got to do it. I would only comment... Actually, I did commentate at Stunfest. So I'd commentate everything, even games I didn't understand. But um, I'm not doing Stunfest this year, unfortunately. So that'll be interesting, actually. <laughs> I think... Very curious to see how that works out. But yeah. Uh, a bomb site. So some hidey, some hidey holes here. Um, this is a pretty big area, it feels like. And again, it's because I can't see the minimap. Like it's hard for me to judge spawn timings and things. Like it, it's, it's, it makes it difficult. I don't even know if I've checked everything. Um, like I don't know what I don't know where I am in relation to everything else. So. This is this is difficult. If you restart the game, the map works again. Every th it's like this every time for me, so I don't know. You mean like this? Doesn't work, buddy. So, yeah, I mean that's like. A significant pain it makes it hard to really do a lot score wise but I'll just run around this one doesn't stand out to me in terms of graphics um, I'm not saying they're bad but like if you look at the if you look at some of the other maps we're going at they uh, they quite stand out but but Part of that is the setting that you choose, so it's not necessarily a criticism. It just, you know, some are more engaging than others. But this is, um, yeah, this is... <clears throat> it doesn't feel like anything new in terms of graphics. Um, so, yeah, this is Asylum. I'd like to look at it more when I can actually see where the hell I'm going but the minimap looks quite busy as well so I, I yeah I, I can't really say much about this one so we're going to birth yeah the stream does have a delay um, I didn't turn it turn it off because um, in case I chose to like play some CS afterwards, I didn't want to restart the stream because that's just kind of tedious. Um, so it's got my uh, my competitive delay. So that was um, Asylum you just saw. Now we're going to Birth, which let's see what I did. So for graphics, I've put on the same level as Abbey. Gameplay, uh, I put on the higher end of things. It was joint with Kaizen and Off Time. So, okay. T-spawn. I almost wonder if you want to have so much breakable glass because I feel like in casual games some people might just be spending a lot of time shooting the glass, which isn't necessarily a good thing. Um, so you've got this uh, like long area towards B, which I think will be interesting for jewels and things and pop flashes. This actually reminds me of um, TF2. I can't remember what map it is I want to say Badlands but I might be wrong but there's like an a tunnel in a payload map maybe Bad Water I don't know but um it reminds me of that a bit which isn't a bad thing I love CF2 
so that's a pretty deep hidey hole here. Um, okay, indoor area. I didn't realize until I tried to open this door that you press E and the bomb comes out. How long have I played this game? I didn't know that. I always press five, but it's actually quite useful to press E because it saves me stretching my finger for the bomb. Um, which is crazy, but there we go. So this is the B bomb site from a CT perspective. I suppose you've got defensive lines this way. Let me see, but you can't cover this, so. Um, this is CT spawn up here, which is really cool. Got train tracks and stuff. I love this. I think this is quite nice. Um, so you can quickly hop off the high grounds towards the A site and set up as you need to. So I think this is an interesting dynamic and I don't know how this will come into play um, during bomb plants and so on. So there's cover from that play area here to plant the bomb. So it's within the yellow lines. Um, some cover there. Oh, this is interesting. You can't plant deep in this corner, but you can plant like over here and you can plant over here somewhere. So for some reason like this, there's a weird area here which you cannot plant in. I don't know if this is on purpose or what, but I feel like it's counterintuitive because you can't see. If, th if this is deliberate, you can't see um, where the bomb plant area ends. And I don't think that's a good thing in a competitive match. You want to... So, like if the, if if time is of the essence and you're like a few pixels here, the hell? Yeah, see that might lose you around. So I don't know if this is deliberate or, or a bug or something, um, but it should be either all of it or it should be marked off properly. Um, okay, what's this? This reminds me of um, agency. This little room. Maybe inspired by the toilets or something, but maybe some useful additional cover. So I wonder if you got the bomb planted on A, how long it would take you to get up here? Really, you need somebody in a flanking position from B. Ooh. Okay, so if the T's can get to here. Okay, so you need to control this this position basically. Because if the T's get to here, then you are in trouble because. This is a big ass area, man. Okay, where does this go out to? Okay, so the long fight's here. And there's like, there's a lot going on here. Okay, so T spawn, so I can quickly get up here. So I don't need to go in a long area necessarily. So there's the fights here. There's a lot of space here. Somebody just opens that door and walks away. I wonder what the implications are. So yeah, I think like post plant, I think you are flanking up here to have a T on the high ground. Maybe, yeah. It's interesting because when you're planting the bomb, I don't know how often you're going to have control of this area. So you are probably going to want to plant it here. But then do you have like if you know people are on the, I don't know if you'd hear the bomb plant from here. Probably not because if someone is trying to hide from up here, then you could just like every so often just have a peek there. Although you can have a T here as well looking for that. So 
Does this is this involved? No. Yeah, so this is interesting. Um, I don't know how this kind of high ground over a bomb site will play out. So again, gameplay it's difficult to go um, far with that because again, you you need to see how it plays out. It's a different style of play than you're used to. I mean, yes, there is nuke, but I feel like this is not the same as nuke necessarily. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. So that's uh, birth. So we're on to biome now. So this is like, um, this video is meant to be a quick summary. I could go, I could spend like 40 minutes on each map, but I don't particularly want to do that. I more or less did yesterday or the day before. Um, but uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to for the sake of this video because it's just like, I've only got so much time. So, and that would be quite uh, boring for you guys as well. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so this is Biome from the T side. It's a DE map. This this map is really interesting graphically. There's lots of interesting things on the background, and you look like I still have 300 FPS. Whereas, if you look in the, I mean, this is this is one thing. Like if you look in the Horizon of Nuke. Okay, so yeah, when you see the actual biome. Yeah, FPS goes down, so I was going to say, like, when you look in a distance outside towards CT spawn, um, you've got more things in the background, so your FPS goes down. Okay, so outside B. There is the door. So graphically, this is really cool. This is like some James Bond business. It kind of reminds me of Goldeneye, actually, a little, um, this kind of rock. So this is cool. This is awesome. This kind of detail, all the pipes and stuff. This is this is uh, really well done, I think, graphically speaking. Um, you can you can note, I think this is very deliberate for, for visibility. So like if you look at how Dust2 used to be on Cats, you'd have like the middle of the wall had a pattern, the lower it would be brighter, so there's more contrast. Um, so that's a nice attention to detail there and all the important parts. You don't need to do this area because I mean, you're gonna normally peek like this, right? So you see enough. Some cover for the bomb site. There is a high ground as well. So we'll see uh, how that's accessed in a second. I'm gonna change up my pistols, man. Let's run around. Let's run around with Julie's. I'm mumbling today. I, I apologize. Oh, I shot him by accident. Okay, so this is B. So CT spawn is right here. Got a nice. Va I, I quite like these um these APCs. These are cool. So spawn straight into B. Straight through B. Where are you holding your angle? You could hold it here with an AWP. Where does this go? So boost somebody up here. And you get your high ground. Ooh. Come on, man. I need to be able to smash this mug. Why are you doing this to me? You can't give me a mug there and tell me that I can not blow it up. So... This, this looks like a risky peak, which is cool. You know, later on, like mid to late rounds. Um, and that quickly spins around into here, so. Okay. I'm interested, I'm interested. You've clearly got easy uh, grenade usage. Let's see. Look at that, man. 
almost picture perfect flash for your teammate. Never played a map before. Okay, so that's uh, the B bomb site. Ooh, look at this, eh? Look at that. This is epic. What did I put for graphics on this one? Yeah, I gave this an off time, the most graphics, for very different reasons. Uh, they're like joint top with 35 out of 40. Um, so where was I? Okay, so T spawn again. Towards A, we've got the far left. It's just a nice little tease, isn't it? It's almost like a Half-Life 2 level or something, you know? It's cool. This this, this um, is just something which... This is like minus points for polish. That should not be a thing, obviously. Um, and again, I can only... I would assume that that would be fixed, but I can only go on the map as it is. So it loses points for, for that because that should not be a thing. Um, it's the whole way around as well. I can just jump off the railing. Because I was like... I jumped on and I was like, oh... Why am I why am I on here? Maybe I could jump down for some reason, even though it doesn't make sense, and then I died. So, if I'm going to do that, other people are going to do that as well. Um, so here we go. Ooh, listen to how the sound changes. You hear that? When do you? I've never noticed a difference like this before. So that's a significant environment change. I can almost smell the friggin' humidity you find in like a zoo when you go in a tropical area. So I like that. It's not too loud. It's not. It's not intrusive. This is beautiful. And again, you've got the uh, good contrast. So towards A, you can go this way. See how the sound changes again? So, somewhere around here. Like here, when you go from this sound, the sound mixes together. And then the, and then the other sound fades out eventually, which is really cool. So, I like that detail. I gave it 15 for polish. I would almost... I don't know if it's too late, but I might add a... Uh, I might add a point for for polish for the sound actually see look at that look at that you know what? i'm going to even if it's too late like whatever i'm going to uh add a sound for pot and add a, a score for polish to my thingy majiggy okay so this is the bomb site ah this was this was what interested me um almost everywhere you plant the bomb you're exposed to at least two places so here you're exposed pretty much everywhere. One, two, three, four. Here, exposed here and here. Like here, you're exposed here and here. And kind of, well, I guess you would clear this. So this looks like a very difficult bomb plant. So I'm thinking like, how do you secure stuff? I guess if you if you make your play through here, then you can, you can uh, secure this line. So that will allow you to plant the bomb like here. But then if you come from this way, right next to spawn, somehow you come through here. I just wonder, um, it's hard for me without like playing the map to know how easy or difficult it will be to plant the bomb. So that's like my main, uh, my main question. on this map is how how difficult is it going to be for you to plant the bomb on this bomb site um is it going to be a struggle so maybe we should go to a ct perspective now okay so towards a i love these posts by the way i'm a big fan of these posts lots going on over there Man, it's just nice to look at, isn't it? It is nice to look at. Let's 
so this is one fighting area I suppose what is here just uh, another area okay let's look at some spawn timings shall we let's go towards B so eight seconds to here ten seconds to about here okay can get a better spawn take that so it's like seven seconds I did stop for a bit so that's like I don't know 12 or something I keep spawning in the middle so I'll just take that So nine seconds to here. So I think the first spawn was like eight seconds. To I can't remember, but I mean you can check it afterwards. This does not seem the fastest route. Yeah, I don't think you're going up here. Maybe put the smoke down there. But then that allows them to go this way. So, although maybe they can go this way anyway. I don't know. This, I mean, graphics wise, this map is really awesome. Again, I don't know about the planting on the A site. How it plays out is hard to tell. I'm not really trying too hard to figure out the spawn timings on this map. Um, so that's biome. Now we go to Kaizen. So Kaizen was the higher end of the gameplay. Um, it was higher than biome by one point. What's the FPS like? I had my net graph on. The FPS was, was more than reasonable. I'd say it was above average. Oh, I'm slouching. Oh, sorry, terrible form, terrible form. Okay, so what is this? DE Kaizen, another DE map. The next one is... Um, the next one is a CS map. So this kind of reminded me a bit of, uh, of Deus Ex. A little bit, a little bit, which is cool. So T spawn here. You've got a Sakura going on, which is really cool. It moves as well. Look at that. It moves, man. Like, that's just beautiful, isn't it? That's nice. So graphics wise, I think this is really nice. You've got your uh, Japanese vending machines around. Where are they? They're here somewhere. Where does that generator sound sourced? In here? Okay, so let's go the long way towards A. So again, spawn is there. So this way you can get into the vent. Is this mid? It doesn't show on the radar the actual spawn, so I don't know where the CT spawn is. You know, normally it's like a green area. Okay, so here is the spawn for the CTs. Uh, 
or the staging area. That's good enough. It's got the vans here, so. So straight into the B-bomb site, we've got some fighting area. This arch you can run on. I miss the vending machines. You used to get, um, you could get a can of sweet corn drink warm from a vending machine. Man, I'm really tired right now. I don't know what's going on. Um, so this is the, uh, the, the bomb site is upper and lower. So you can plant on both. And again, um, you can quickly, it's not like old and nuke. You can quickly, very quickly get up here. God save you if you have to defuse a bomb up here without a smoke grenade, bloody hell. Um, yeah, but I mean, you could easily, if that turns out to be too difficult, just turn that off and leave it down here. So this is a B-bomb site for the CTs. So you can um, dance around this area. Where does this lead? Okay, so this is mid, basically. Oh, so we can see. Now we can make out where the T's are, like top left. So... They need to get past here to get to the vents, which is here. And you see that's um, to the CT's advantage, so... Okay, so this is one area, but over here, the CTs will need to stop access here as well. Otherwise, you can split mid. So we will check the spawn timings for this in a second. Let's do it now. Move it, son. Which way do I go? I don't know which way to go. Shit. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, more to here. I don't know if that was the fastest way, but this is a proper mess. <laughs> Just, I've never heard him say that before. Okay. Ten. So, it seems the T's will get if it's thirteen to to like here for the CTs. Then at least you can you can get a line on the um, on this area before the T's can get in here. So you can defend that. So this is uh, the T's into mid. I don't know what the rush timing's like. Vi Visar R, thank you for the subscription. Hmm. Let's see, I have my grenade script thing going on. Okay. So if you're a CT... That's not very good, is it? Okay, normal. Um, I'm just checking the distance, like how well that would flash somebody who is in that position. Okay, so that's cool. That's interesting. So it seems the CTs will have the T's will have to fight to get to this vent. But um, I mean, So the T's can shoot the vents open. That's interesting. The T's can shoot the vents open without actually um, needing to see it, which is cool, because they can. That can come into play later. Although, let's have a look and see um, what the implications are over here. Okay, we need spawn timings for the Sakura.
Okay, so here is where we get in 10 seconds. Now, this is where we go to get the vents. And even if we get to this position, what else is there? What are our opportunities? Assuming we get boosted, then we're behind the CTs here. So the CTs can run here. Okay, 10 seconds to the Sakura. Oh, he's gone the wrong way, hasn't he? Bloody hell. Bloody hell. All right, so let's go wide, eh? Let's go. Gear up. We're going in. Okay, so 10 seconds I get here. And the 10 seconds the T's were like here, right? So, if I'm a T, I mean, you know the CT's, uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting because then, then what do you do as a CT? Are you fighting, are you fighting around here? Maybe you are. So, I guess we're going to have a, a war of the flashbangs here. And even if the CTs get like here in 10 seconds, Flashbang. I doubt you're gonna get peaked by the time you get here with, with a flash like that. So this is this whole thing is a fighting area. This is gonna be weird as well because, Check well, in. you get, you'll get sound cues. I wish they'd shut up. You get sound cues if um, somebody drops down there, right? So. Oh, and there's a boost potential here. Okay, this is going to be really weird. This whole area. It's going to be funky because you kind of... You come up here, right? And as you come up, you're exposed to anybody around here. But also around here, so... That's going to be super weird. So this will be interesting. Okay, so now we're going to uh, CS off time, which is really interesting. It looks like an Overwatch map. I can see why you say that. I guess like, is it Hanamura? Oh man, my shoulder is really messed up. This map I think is super cool, graphically. Hostage map. You know I like my hostage maps. Look at this. This is T-Spawn. Look at that. That is atmosphere right there. That is awesome. Look at this. This is like a lethal weapon episode. It's even got the, that's the Valeria icon, right? This is cool. This is cool. Sorry, this is CT-Spawn, not T-Spawn. Of course it's CT-Spawn. So while yeah, the graphically like this is, it creates an atmosphere. I love this. So you can go down the ladder through the lift or around here. I'm not sure um, when you rescue a hostage, it seems that you have to go. Oh, okay. So it looks like, Actually, let's just try and rescue a hostage, shall we? And then we'll find out. hiding place oh this is cool as well how cool is this guys and you can smash them holy crap so polish polish this is awesome so you see like this is cool man even up there 
that's awesome. I really, I really enjoy that. So I think some others, again, like some others have fancier graphics, but these graphics give an atmosphere. They're very well done. Um, and again, partly graphics depend on your setting. So this setting, you're not going to have like fancy crap in it, but I think it's done very well. So I gave it joint top for, for, um, for graphics. Oh yeah, we'll come to that later. Where's the bloody hostage? Is he above me? Hello boys. So this is the C this is the C T staging area. I don't think I looked at this too much last time. Yeah, this is super cool man. I can't even shoot a packet of crisps, guys. It's like a model of the thing as well. It's just, this is awesome. Okay, there's a hostage around here somewhere. Bloody hell, where am I going? See how the radar changes when we change level. God. That makes me sad, man. I want you to know that, developer. Makes me sad. Yeah. Don't ask me to do rush timings on this map because I'm not familiar enough with it yet to redo really that. Whoops. Did I just see a lift moving or something? Do you hear that? What is that? Where are the stairs? Okay, so the whole place is green. So you're just ignoring the objective. I feel like I'm in the, the rescue zone already. So it must be some of the settings I have that's not allowing me to actually I can just do this. Move. Bear with me guys while I rescue your hostage. Oh there he is. Don't talk to me. We're not friends, buddy. So I feel like when I rescue a hostage, some kind of lift starts moving. How do I get upstairs? Bollocks, where am I going guys? Where on earth am I going?
do 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 okay so it's only the stairs then oh maybe the lift moves down or something Okay, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's this area, so I think this is cool anyway. Um, all right, next one is DE Serious. Oh my god, this is T spawn. Of course, it's T spawn. Okay, yeah, I am a moron. It's because the green zone. I'm tired, okay, leave me alone, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm going to the wrong freaking spawn. I am a stupid all. Jesus, that's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I'm watching the chat. Maybe we'll go back to that at the end. I am a bit tired. Okay, let's just forget about that whole hostage thing. So, DE Sirius. Um, oh, football. You know what the, I don't like about footballs? If you walk, the football still makes a noise, which could give your position away. So, and it makes a different noise. Oh, no, it doesn't make the same noise, whatever. But that's like bad. Okay, so, ah, this is the one I think, is this the one with the, with the colors? Look how bright this yellow is. Bright's good, as long as it like fits the map. So this one, this is very gray, which is kind of boring, but then it has extremely bright use of colors. So here is CT spawn. We've got the lights on, which is good. How do you find these maps? They're in the workshop, dude. So, I don't know. It's like, it's very plain. It's very bland. It's very gray, which, you know, is a, is a style. But then, like, look at this. Look how, like, so for polish and graphics, it just seems, it doesn't, it's like if I feel like he's trying to, to trying to do two different things because on the one hand you have like very grey, bland, boring kind of eighties, seventies like concrete. But then on the other hand you have <coughs> this crazy contrast. This crazy contrast of um, of color, and why is there a chicken here? Are there chickens on every map? I'm not sure, but like, why would there be a chicken in a place like this? Like Inferno, you could understand it. Like in Bermuda, you have wild chickens, right? Literally, in in Bermuda, you have wild chickens running around. This is not Bermuda, though, is it? This is. I mean, it looks like some kind of office complex. Well, industrial site with offices, let's put it, put it that way. So, and this just seems random. Like, why is this, why would you, why would this be here? So I feel like, yeah, so this got the lowest score for polish along with Asylum. Although to be honest, I think this should have a lower score because just why why is this here it's random it seems random to me 
And that's before we get into the purple over there. But I just feel like things have been randomly... Like, if, you, if you're going to have graffiti, I feel like it would be... Well, it wouldn't be there, you know? So... And, like, why... Why does this door have this on? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. I'm not lazy. I'm a minimalist. It's relevant. But, um... I don't know what this yellow line is. If that's, like, a... Like, a warning, like, hazard thing, or, or what that is. Just look at the... I mean, look how strong the colours are. It just... It just feels weird to me. You know? I feel like... You know when you get a car, and the car has... It's like a like a, a black car, but it's got, like, one of the doors is yellow because it's from another car or something. That's what it feels like. It's just a weird contrast. This is nice. The lighting here is cool. The pole, the light bulb thing, the like the tubes, the yeah, that's cool. But then, like the floor indicators are cool. I like that. That's uh, it's not a bad touch. I missed the um. Was it Nuke which had the hut at T-spawn? Anyway, let's go and look at the purple, shall we? Does this not seem weird to you? It's just... I don't understand. It's just a weird contrast of colour. The, the use of colour is bizarre to me. just weird like really weird and the chickens the chickens are pissing me off I mean if this was more like if the design was more like derelict disused abandoned then the chickens would make more sense and like if you had like a a hole in the fence or something and have some chickens near that you know give it some more story I look how red this bridge is that is not a normal red it's just bizarre yeah there's just lots of lots of color there's lots of color and I just don't understand Someone's saying flower is the call out for under the ladder. That's for me that's not a good enough reason to have a flower there. Um it's just it just seems out of place. Um in terms of gameplay, let's have a look. Towards B I'm really distracted by just the colours. I mean, the colours could be used, but I don't know if the setting, it just doesn't match. So CT's into B.
Okay, so we have our mid. Smoke off the CTs. I mean, that's pretty much it. The, C the T's are going to get here pretty quickly. Smoke off the CTs, and then you get this area. What difference does this make? You're pretty much in the B-bomb site. Um, and that's the other one. So... I don't know. It seems the T's have a shitload more to play with than the CTs do. So, there was a 54 there. Okay. Smoke. You get the idea. Let's do that again. Move it, move it. I don't know why I'm so tired, man. It's, uh, I feel like I've got narcolepsy or something. On, I'm going to have a nap after this. Okay, two... So eight seconds to here. Where am I going? This way? Go, go, go. So four seconds to here more or less and it was eight seconds for the guys but the problem is okay okay so it's eight seconds to here right Try that again. Oh, sugar. so like six seconds with a flash over and four seconds for the cts but I mean, once you're forced off this angle by a flashbang, then you're at the arse end of the choke point here, and you don't really have anywhere else to fight with that I can see. So uh, I'm not so sure about how the mid's gonna work on this map. Excuse me. Je fatigue. Oh my god. You sent me 15 pounds, dude. I don't sign profiles. I should put that somewhere. If you want to charge back, I have no issue with that, but... I always say like I don't I don't sign profiles because um, somebody's been scammed before. Not nothing to do with me, but someone was scammed because a player signed their profile. Like they someone got a sign on their profile and used that to scam someone else, which sounds ridiculous. But um, I just don't sign profiles, man. I'm sorry. Thank you for the donation though, and even if you charge it back, I uh, I have no issue with that. So you do what. You do what you need to do, do what works for you. Oh, that's interesting. Why did I hear a toilet sound? I don't see any indication of a bathroom around here. So why was there a toilet sound in spawn? I think this is pretty cool, but I don't know if, um, you know, like I think there's a policy with Valve, um, not to have like real world places. And I think that's more like a place that exists in real world, but I don't know if this is too close to home. And it, it oh, the toilet's there. Okay, fair enough. Um, and so I don't know like if that policy is relevant to this um, and if it would, would be better to use a place such as this as a staging area for CTs rather than a spawn for the Ts. That might be more appropriate, um, you know, in this age of terrorism and so on. Um, but anyway, this is T-spawn. So this is a DE map, right? Yeah. Okay. 
so towards A, I've got this big area, it kind of fights around this car somewhat, it's a very bright car. Oh, so this is a film studio, film set. I remember. Flashback. Surprise! Chickens on a film set. It's fine. This is the A site. What the hell? Okay. 15 to 50 pounds. Thank you for that as well. <laughs> That's kind of... I don't even know what to say. That's like... It's just so... It's just so bizarre. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think that's the biggest donation I've ever had. I'm pretty sure it is. Thank you very much. Um, accordings. I appreciate that. So... This is the A site. So the red, the red is the planting area. Okay. So. so this is cool. There's a nice um, area to fight with around the site. I wonder if you could boost up here. I don't know. I don't know if these green panels are part of the like design of the map or if they're just unfinished panels. But I'm going to assume they're like green screen studio set type stuff, which is kind of cool. And it can be used for visibility as well. So this is, what is this? you so closed Ooh, look at these bright lights there's a trailer De Niro okay so this is the staging area this is very purple I do like purple I'm a fan of purple my wallet is purple but um, yeah this, this is like it's like color cast purple, so maybe it's just a bit too much purple here. Oh, that's sick. I didn't know you could do that. That's cool. Okay. So it's towards B from C2 spawn. Big blocks. A lot of structures here. I don't know if this is too many structures on the site. It might be a pain. It might be too busy. So, because you've got this half hiding hole, you've got this off angle, then one, two, three, and you have uh, you have a high ground as well. This is cool. I like this. This is cool. Um, but this might be too many structures on the site itself. I'm trying to read the mini map. Um, but there aren't many. It's kind of difficult. Ooh, okay. I'm not sure where I am right now.
Okay, towards B. So high ground is one way into B. Okay, they are green screens intended design. Yeah, I thought so. Cool. Ooh. Okay. So you could. Ah. So you could show presence on the high grounds. Whatever. You can throw smoke through there. So you could quickly do that and then go to the... Ooh, this is very exposed. Okay. Let's just speed this up. Just recessing. Let's get my bearings again. Okay, so this is the mid area, I presume. Where does this go? Towards A. So I wonder if the CTs all fight from up here. So this is an important choke point. Although, if they get in these doors, I don't know if the CTs would be able to control this area. So I think this is might be given for the T side. I guess you can boost up there. So it's a beautiful map. Gameplay wise, it's hard to uh, figure out how it will play out. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful map. It's well done in terms of uh, like styling setting i don't know i wonder if there are too many objects more on the b bomb site than the a bomb sites oh my god look at all this purple man i love this purple yeah i don't know if this if this is too busy i'm not sure i mean this is a pretty big structure to move around and and then you've got two more like if you're let's see at least there's a fair distance between the objects, so if, so if you're chasing somebody around one object tediously, it won't be so easy for them to suddenly move to another object, which would just be a massive pain in the ass. Um, yeah. Curious to see how that plays out. Okay, so. Yeah, that's it. I think we have to do off time some justice and actually go to the bloody CT spawn, not T spawn with the hostage. That would be intelligent. Why do I have my bobbing on? I don't know what that means, buddy. I have no idea what that means. Look guys, it's CT spawn. What's the amber for? Oh, hostage rescue? We are out of here. Hostage rescue zone, okay. There we go. Look, we know how to play hostage maps, boys and girls. Does this go down when I rescue hostage? I feel like it does, but I don't know for sure.
Check it out, guys. Check it out. You ready? Oh my days. We rescued the hostage. There we go. We've done. We've done it. So, I think that's... Um, I think that's all the maps done then. So, the ones I was most interested in, I think, were... I mean, let me see. What, I, what did I score the highest? Biome and Abbey. Um, and Birth. Wait a minute, sorry. No, Off Time and Abbey, I scored the highest. And Biome. Um, although I, I just changed the points. So if they've taken my score already, then Biome was one point lower. Even though Biome is like one of the most visually stunning maps. Again, there are questions in terms of gameplay, like planting the bomb on A, you know, time will tell um, with that kind of thing. So yeah, Birth was up there with Kaizen as well. And then the rest were like a little further back. Those are my scores, but there are other judges as well. So by no means will my score determine who actually wins what or, or whatever. So that's that. Oh, excuse me. I don't know if um, I'm going to play any games now because as you can see, I'm quite tired and it's only bloody 1pm.